for a long time, I really wanted to be a, a traditional animator, and you know, create create pictures and stories with a with a pencil and a paintbrush. But um, at a certain point, I kind of realized I maybe didn't have the 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 dexterity necessary for that, and like the the ecosystem for it. And luckily, I found out that I can still be a storyteller with uh, with a camera and paint with with strokes of light, and I was able to take all of these things that I was, I was, when I was studying animation on my own, I was able to take all the things I learned about like uh, project management and composition, storytelling and uh, pacing, even of an edit, you know, and really transpose them over to film. Um, well, for me, it was kind of like a fluke, to be honest. <laughs> I never really even intended to get into kind of like makeup or hair. Like uh, it was all started for me when I was in high school and uh, I was just really into zombies at the time. And I was like, I wanted to be a zombie for Halloween. And so I started just watching YouTube tutorials on like how to do zombie makeup on myself. And so I started practicing on myself and, uh, and, and on my friends. So literally anyone around me was like getting turned into zombies with like <laughs> liquid latex and toilet paper and, Prom and fake blood. <laughs> <laughs> I always loved the artistry behind it and um, I wanted to try pursuing a career in it and so far it's working out. I've always wanted to get in sports since I was 15. Huge Boston Celtics fan and like thought I was going to work for the Celtics and uh, once I got into University of Queens I recognized that you know like I was in film and media and I was still feeling out the sports world but I interned at a show called City Line so from there um, intern for four months realized I'm like okay love production want to get into sports start networking a lot with like people at City News and from there that built my network to um, like have networks at MLSC, Sports and TSN, and then just her, just talk to people a lot and got an internship with MLSC and just been an intern and then worked my way up. So that's how I got to where I am. <laughs> so there was a time uh, I picked my phone. Uh, I shot two clips. Uh, I put them, you know, in, in the Windows Movie Maker, right? Mm -hmm. I joined them together and then I ran it out. And then I was amazed that, you know, it's so simple mm -hmm. to, you know, edit it out, you know, make a, make a, a small video. So that's, that was my initial push, you know, because the most difficult part for me was editing, you know. So that's what actually uh, gave me the initial push to get into uh, filmmaking. So I began as an editor, you know, I, I would shoot uh, small clips, you know, uh, movies around my, ho my house, right, and then stitch, stitch them together, you know, uh, show it to my family. So I ended up getting a job with um, <clears throat> like a VR production because like it was like the future and in my mind I like tech, I like filmmaking and tech and it was like both in one and it was like the executive producers who I still know to this day like they're, it, they created a very encouraging environment and so like from there it got me like my first credits and then from there like I got to go to MLSC because yeah, someone had seen it like, oh, you worked on that. And then like, I'm always just, I guess, like looking for different types of experiences to kind of build my knowledge base, so. 